Well, Bill, we've been in the middle of uh, discussing a new teaching series for you, a five-part teaching series on mankind's five basic emotional struggles. And we're talking about loneliness this week, something that is certainly relatable to all of us at some point. And uh, you really dive into Adam and Eve, the beginning of the Word of God, to discuss this topic. Yes, because right away the loneliness came about because of sin. Sin tends to bring about loneliness and alienation from God and from your fellow man as well. And so when they ran and hid from God in the garden, right away they were alienating themselves from him because they didn't even know what it was like to be alienated from him. They, they welcomed him mm -hmm. every day. And man is born even today because of that with a God vacuum. Huh. And, and I, I like to put it this way, that man, God is the only one who can scratch where you really itch. Because <laughs> man is, is just scratching around, trying to find satisfaction of life. You can't do it apart from him. There are wonderful things in the world that you can avail yourselves of, mm -hmm. uh, yourself of, but still, you need God to fill that God vacuum. That's right. And so you mentioned, Adam, at the point where they were separated, and possibly one of the, the most dreadful questions, I think, that we could ever imagine where God asked, where are you yes. to Adam and, yes. and Eve? And, and just you, you dive into that a little he's, bit. He's still asking mankind that question today, today Zach. Where are you? In, in your state of alienation and separation from God because of your sin, all the guilt and the shame that come about as a result of sin, where are you? And, and what it is, it's a question that's not seeking the information about where you are physically. Mm -hmm. Where are you mentally? Where are you spiritually? I want you close to me. And what, what Adam responded with is very telling. He said, I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Look at that, I, I was afraid. He had never known what fear was, yeah. but he alienated himself from God and fear came about and he says, I was, I was naked. He didn't even know he was naked. So yeah. all of these other emotions came about because of sin. And it's so detrimental, you can see why God, as a loving God of the universe, still loved us so much that he wants to draw mankind back to himself and that's hmm. why his son, he sent his son to die for us so that we wouldn't have the loneliness. Yeah. yeah. You talk about how Adam and Eve, they experienced oneness with God before there was the loneliness. Yes. And us being born with a God vacuum, there may be some people who don't know um, really the satisfaction or the fulfillment that comes with the yeah. relationship of God. There's a lot of people who maybe have tried to fill that loneliness with other things of the world, like you mentioned. Yeah. But there's only one true fulfillment. Amen. You, you know, it's not a matter of going to seek it through another man, a woman on the side, mm -hmm. or, or, or going into the gambling den or the gambling casino, yeah. those kinds of things. You may find a measure of comfort and thrill, but in the final analysis, there's still that thing inside that's not being reached. It's because you were made for God. You yeah. were made to be with Him and serve Him. And that's why the antidote to loneliness is really fellowship. Yeah. You know, somebody described it as two fellows in the same ship. You know, <laughs> that's what it really is. So it's fellowship on a vertical level between you and your God, which also translates to fellowship on a horizontal level level between you and your brother and your sister. Yeah. So it works both ways. And so it starts, does it start with the vertical fellowship it and does. then evolve into the horizontal, the horizontal fellowship. The horizontal, exactly. And, and you need both. You, no man is an island, you know. Yeah. So you've got to have your, 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 the fellowship with your brother and your sister as well. But most importantly, it is God that we have that closeness with and that, 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 yeah, that, that closeness and intimacy with. And it seems to me that loneliness is something that can almost breed or feed itself. Um, for those who struggle, maybe they do have known God as, as their personal savior, but still struggle with a, a loneliness mm -hmm. and make the efforts to fellowship, but maybe they failed for some reason and, and it almost feeds back, why put out the effort if I'm not going to be able to fellowship or, or cure the loneliness? And how, do, how would those people be helped? Well, scripture tells us even in the Old Testament, he who would have friends must first show himself friendly. Hmm. So you have to reach out. And it, it's a point of, of doing that because if not, you can be in a crowd filled with people, Zach, and still be lonely. Yeah. You can be around a lot of people who love and admire you and still because you're not allowing God to touch that one place inside of you where you really have a void because you don't do it, there's still a loneliness that's not being satisfied. Only God can do it because you ultimately, you ultimately were designed to have fellowship with Him.